Alaska's virtual craft room. We're so excited you're here because we think that being crafty and being creative are two of the best things in the whole world. So today we're whipping up a little bit of magic with a potato. You guys, how much fun. We're gonna learn how to carve stamps out of potatoes and a few things you find around your house. So first things first, let's get our parents to help gather up the supplies we're gonna need. You can find them below. Now that you have all your supplies gathered, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna have an adult go ahead and cut your potato whatever size right in the middle so you have the biggest part square in the middle. So I'm gonna take the blade and I'm gonna cut this right here. And I'm gonna cut it right in half. Now, you guys, we wanna make sure that an adult's helping with this because blades are sharp and we need their help some. So now I've got my potato cut in half and I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple. So today what we're working on is we're actually going to show you guys how to make citrus themed stamps. This DIY can easily also be adapted to make sports balls like soccer balls and things like that. But for us today, what we're making, we are going to make some lemons and limes. Okay, you guys, now that we have our potatoes cut in half, what we're gonna wanna do next is actually design our stamp. So you're gonna grab one half of your potatoes and one of the pieces of paper that you have laid out, set it in front of you, and let's start designing. Now it's time to create our templates. Start by placing your potato face down on your piece of paper and grab your pencil. Trace along the outside. Once you've finished with that, now take your scissors and cut out around your circles. Grab your pencil and start with the outside of our citrus. Circle all the way around, creating two different size circles, and then we move inwards to create the spindles. When you're finished with this, grab your marker. Go around your pencil markings, creating a dark circle and lines. Once you've finished with that, press down on top of your potato to transfer the ink over, creating a template. And that's it. Now that we've transferred our designs onto our potatoes, it's time to start to cut. First, grab your toothpick and go along all of the areas that are white and outlining the black lines that have transferred over with tiny little dots. This is gonna help create a guide for when we use our knives to cut smooth and even lines. Notice I'm taking my time to make plenty of small dots along through here. Next, grab your spoon and go along the outside using those dots as a template and a guide. Once you're finished there, you're gonna grab your knife and you're gonna go through the inside of the potato to create the different lines of the citrus. Remember, these stamps are one of a kind, so if you mess up, it's okay. Go back through with your toothpick to make sure you have little spots to make it perfect. Let's watch that again. Remember, we're using our toothpicks to create a guide along the outside of all of the areas that transferred over. The parts that transferred over in our black marker are going to be the parts that hold the paint and create our actual stamp. The parts that were left white are the parts that we want to remove from the actual potato so that there will be a void and help us create the difference between paint and not paint. Remember, if you happen to mess up, you do have another side of your potato that you can do this again on and recreate your stamp. Once you've completed this, go through and finish the rest of your potatoes so that you can have multiple sides. Now that our stamps are all carved, it's time to paint. Grab your favorite paint colors and put them in a place that is safe to have our paint spread about. Take your stamp, dip it in the paint, and then press it onto your piece of paper. Do the same with other colors. 
During this process, you may wanna have an extra piece of paper on the side so that you can use your stamp and get the excess paint off of it. Go through with your different sizes and different colors to create a masterpiece of your own. We just love how these colors come out together. Add in a few more fun colors and voila, you're done. You guys, that's it. You've officially made your first piece of artwork with your very own hand carved stamp, made out of a potato nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed this installment of Crafting with Corey, and I can't wait to see your artwork. Make sure that you tag us at Bellsbox Collective and use the hashtag Crafting with Corey so I can share it with all of my friends. And until next time, you guys, cheers and stay creative. Don't forget to clean up your mess because we know that crafting can be so much fun and craft catastrophes happen, but we like to keep a tidy spot. So stay tuned as I do a quick roundup of cleaning up my craft catastrophe.